Okay, now let's start the line integrals of our class. To start with, uh, we calculate the. Uh, we start from the practical, the practical problem, that is how to calculate the total mass of a wire lying lying along a curve in space. Uh, if the density if, if its density is f x y z that is the density is changing from point to point. So uh, we cannot use the uh, common uh, formula that the mass is the uh, uh, length times the density. So how to find, find the mass of a wire lying along a curve? First, we divide the curve into small sectors. In, the, in each sector, we can view, we can regard or approximate the length by our by a straight line that is from this point to this point we call this point m m0 the last point is m n if this is m i minus 1 this is m i then and in the small sector uh, in, in the small sector and the the length can be approximated by our straight line and we choose any point we choose any point oh, first we choose any point and find the density at this point we can use this uh, the density at this point represent the all density all, all density of other points in the small sections uh, in the small section so the in the, the small section the mass is we, if, if we call this point as x i star y i star and z i star so the mass at uh, for this section is approximated by f x i star y i star and z i star times the length times the length of, of this section and uh, actually this mm, this the length can be uh, approximated by a straight line uh, we can uh, calculate this uh, later and uh, m is all mass of those sections i from 1 to n that is approximate by summation i from 1 to n f x i star y i star and c i star times delta s i now let's delta s If we call delta S as max, delta S i, and let delta S tends to zero, that is, uh, we divide uh, the uh, the sections into smaller sections. Then the approximate uh, is better than before, and then uh, each section tends to zero. It, the length of each section tends to zero. Then we got the uh, precise precise uh, of the of the mass the precise value of the mass that is the limit delta s tends to zero sigma i from one to n f x i star y i star and z i star and delta s i Actually, this is a Riemann sum, the limiter and summation. We 
use our symbol, the integral uh, represents the limit and the summation that our line the L, uh, our line the curve, if we cur cur uh, the curve is L, f x y z d s. The Riemann sum uh, that's that's the integral is a Riemann sum. The limit of a Riemann sum. So we get the definition of line integral line integral uh, of arc lengths. The line integral of arc lengths is defined as a Riemann sum. The limit of Riemann sum i from one to n f x i star y i star and z i star d s uh, delta s i that's the definition and after we get the definition the uh, most important thing that is how to evaluate evaluate the uh, evaluation Eva how to evaluate the line integrals the line integrals of arc lengths the first is if the length if the line can be represented by uh, parametric equations that is r equals rt no matter as a plane curve or space curve then the line integral of t from alpha to beta then the line integral ds can be write as from alpha to beta f x t y t and z t times the r prime t the length of r prime t times d t because because we know uh, we we know that the d s is actually r prime t and the length of r prime t times dt. Uh, we we already we, we already know this before. For the and uh, we started this part in the and uh, the, the video of arc lengths. That's the 3D. For 2D, <coughs> for 2D. Two dimension that L F X Y D S that is actually alpha to beta F X T Y T then times the length of R prime T D T and we know that the R prime T the length of R prime T that is square root X prime T square plus y prime t square and for 3d for three dimension the length that is square root x prime t square plus y prime t square plus z prime t square that's uh, that's uh, if the uh, if the uh, curve is represented by a represent by a parametric equation, and if if the curve is def uh, is defined by a graph, that is y equals g x x from a to b. Then the line integral f x y d s can be read as from a to b f x g x we represent y as x times square root 
1 plus g prime square and dx. That's the computation for line integrals. Uh, line integrals of arc lengths. Now we use the, those formula uh, to find the uh, line integrals. Oh, oh, okay, for the last one, for the last one, y equals gx can be write as r equals x and gx. So the r prime x that is one g prime x. So its length. We use x as a parameter. Oh, we use x as parameter. Uh, so that is its length is one plus g prime square x. Okay. Now we use those formulas to find the line integrals. The first example, evaluate the line integral x squared plus y squared plus z squared ds, where uh, L is the helix x equals a cosine t y equals a sine t z equals b t from uh, from t to 0 to t equals 2 pi So it's, this, uh, this line is uh, represented by a, a parametric equation. So we first we have RT equals A cosine T, A sine T, and B T. So its derivative is negative A sine T, A cosine and b its length its length is square root a square cosine t square uh, first is a sine t square plus a square cosine t square plus b square so actually square root a square plus b square sine t square plus cos t square that a equals 1 so the line integral x square plus y square plus z square ds that is the t from 0 to 2 pi x square that is a cos t square y square is a square sine t square and z square as b square t square times square root a square plus d b square dt uh, simplify that is a square plus b square t square uh, times square root a square plus d b square dt and uh, a square square root a square plus b square uh, that's uh, that's a constant so we can move the constant outside the integral and then from 0 to 2 pi a square plus b square t square dt That's equals square root a square plus b square times a square t plus b square over 3 t cube. 
from 0 to 2 pi. That is uh, so that is square root a square plus b square times a square plus 2 pi uh, plus b square over 3 times 8 pi cube from uh, that's the uh, mm, that's the final answer. Final answer. So the first example is that uh, the the curve is represented by a uh, by a parametric equation. Let's see the second example. Evaluate the line integral square root y ds, where L is the parabola. As parabola y equals x square from 0, 0, 2, 1, 1. Okay. <clears throat> The solution that is because the the mm, the line the curve is represented by a graph. So uh, we have y equals x squared, and uh, the ds that is square root one plus two x squared dx that is square root 1 plus 4x squared. So the line integral square root y ds that is x as that is from 0 to 1. Square root y is x and times square root 1 plus 4x squared dx. Okay, now we use the uh, use substitution. That is uh, actually we can use u substitution. Mm, we can use u equals one plus four x squared. So x dx that is one eighth du so that is 1 h 1 over h uh, u 1 half then du uh, when x equals 0 u is 1 when x equals 1 u equals 5 so that is uh, 1 over h times uh, 2 over 3 u or 3 over 2 from 1 to 5 that is 1 over 12 uh, 1 over 12, 12. Uh, that is 5 or 3 over 2 minus 1 that is a graph okay let's see um actually the line integrals uh, have the same properties with uh, definite integral so if the line if the curve consists of two or more piecewise uh, piecewise smooth uh, smooth curves then we can separate sep uh, uh, we can um, separate those line integrals so we see the uh, third example that is 
the value h uh, l 2x ds where l consists of parabola from 0, 0 to 1, 1 uh, followed by vertical line from 1, 1, 2 one two that is the graph is like this the first is like this and then so here is one one and then the straight line is as mm, one two so we can use the L2x ds. We can write a separate that is L12x ds plus L22x ds, where L1 that is y equals x square, x from 0 to 1, and L2 that is y. Uh, that is x equals 1 x equals 1 y y is from 1 to 2 so the l1 2x ds that is from 0 to uh, 1 2x and ds ds that is 1 plus 2x square dx uh, uh, from the previous one we know that this this part is the uh, the twice of previous pre uh, this twice of previous one that's this one so that is uh, 1, 6, 5, 3 over 2, minus 1. And L2, because L2 is x of, uh, equals 1. So we cannot use s, uh, we cannot use s as, uh, uh, as a variable. x is a constant, so we use y as a variable. Uh, if we use y as variable, because the r, uh, l2 we can write as r equals r x equals y, y. So r prime as y, that is 0 and 1. So its length. Its length is just uh, dy. We use y as a parameter. So the L2, that is y from 1 to 2, x is 1, ds is 1, dy. So that is 1 to 2, 2 dy. That is 2y from 0 to 2, that is 4 minus 2, that is 2. So the line integral 2x ds, that is uh, 1 over 6, 5, 3 over 2, minus 1, plus 2. That's the final and the final answer for the, for this example.
if the line integral uh, line if the curve consists of uh, two or more piecewise function we should separate separate the line integral in uh, in uh, in several parts okay that's the line integral of our class